all right you guys hello and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be getting ready because we are taking Evelyn to a pumpkin patch hayride corn maze there's like bouncy houses um there's like train rides all the fun things so I'm gonna get you guys ready with me. I have the straightener heating up in the bathroom. Ignore the mess in the background. Evelyn was in here a minute ago dragging stuff out. Life with a toddler. But, so, I went ahead and brushed my hair. I have the straightener heating up. I'm gonna try and go ahead and get my base face on. And then I'm gonna go straighten my hair and change my clothes. Um, Cause I don't wanna do my eye look until I've decided what I'm gonna wear. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do our base makeup. And then um, I will change my clothes, straighten my hair, and we will come back and we will do the eye look. Um, so I'm going to do the Shades by Shan Hydrating Primer. I am almost out of this stuff. I have been using it for every makeup look until I run out. Um, so we're just going to try and see if maybe today's the day we can use... The rest of the stuff, I have a mirror right here. So if you see me looking this way, it's because I'm looking in the mirror over here. I'm gonna try and hurry because um, I still gotta find Evelyn a fall outfit to wear. So just try and hurry up. Evelyn's coming inside. You guys can come in here. And I'm just putting this primer all over my face. And I don't think we're going to be able to put this in the empties bin today. But every time we use it, we get closer and closer. I have an empties bin that um, I have been filling since July. So I will show that on a mask Monday here soon. There's a few more products that are almost empty that I want to get through um, before I do my empties bin. I don't put like my sheet mask wrappers in there. Um, I just, you know, like primers I go through, things like that I will put in there. Um, make sure we put a little bit down the neck. I am so excited for this because I we're kind of doing this fall and Halloween season, um, trying to you know give Evelyn more memories. Um, <clears throat> in the past, I've never you know I've taken her to a pumpkin patch in the fa in the in the past. I've you know but like. We've taken her to Kings Island, which you guys have seen those videos by now. We took a tree treating at Kings Island. I've never been able to like afford to take her there. And, um, you know, I've like I've taken her to a pumpkin patch before when she was like little, little. And so she was basically, you know, free to go. Um, but now that she's, you know, turning five and she's starting to memorize things and stuff, we're kind of trying to you know, give her, like, make, the like, do more memories with her. So now I'm just going in with the Pharmacy CC Cream Foundation. This is just going to help even out that skin tone, hide my hyperpigmentation and any redness I may have. And I'm just going to take this Kabuki brush and kind of just blend it in. I'm trying to go for a very light, like, a light and simple kind of fall makeup look and you guys should be you guys will be seeing this video on October 11th but it is October 2nd today so yesterday is when we took Evelyn to Kings Island on October 1st um, and then today we're taking her to pumpkin patch um and you guys will see the king's island video um on the 7th which you guys have already seen that by the time this video is posted and you guys are going to be seeing this video on the 11th 
just because I have, I'm in, a, I'm in a, so many collabs right now. And so I always like to, you know, vlog things with my daughter. You know, I vlog camping trips. I vlog, um, you know, like when we go to fun places and things like that. And so you guys will eventually see this. And so that was just with the CC Cream Foundation. I love how nicely it just blends and it just looks so good evening out my skin tone. And I have very sensitive skin. So it's like one of the only foundations I can use. Blend out these harsh lines right here. It's like one of the only foundations I can use that doesn't break me out. Okay, again, that was the Pharmacy CC Cream Foundation. Um, and then next, we're going to go in with the Pharmacy Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. And I'm just going to pop this under my eyes. I do want a bright under eye, so I'm just going to kind of add a little more than I normally would. And I'm almost, this concealer is almost empty, but I got backups of this concealer because I freaking am obsessed. I'm almost out of this, y'all. All right, there we go. That should, that should do it. Take a little bit down the nose there. All right, there. All righty. And then we just go in with a concealer buffer brush. And I kind of just tap, tap, tap until it's blended to my liking. And again, I'm doing my base face with you guys. This is typically how I do my base face. Um, like anytime I'm doing makeup. So. There we go. Kind of blend it on the nose a little bit there. I'm trying to get better at like giving you guys some type of makeup tutorials because I get a lot of comments, like a lot of compliments on, you know, my makeup and stuff. And so if I can attempt to show you and you guys can get at least something out of my makeup videos, then I'll feel better. I'll feel really good about it. So just kind of blend, blend, blend 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 kind of just dabbing it I'm not really you know rubbing it just like that definitely want to get all those high highlighted areas okay and then I will go in with the Maybelline fit me loose powder in the shade 05 it's not a setting powder it is just like the lightest shade that they have and I'll take that same brush and I will kind of dab that where I put that concealer. And it also helps brighten that up. Just like that. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. And then the following weekend, um, it's going to be a rest weekend, honestly, because then the weekend after that, we go camping. So, just hanging in there. And then I'm going to go in with the Pharmacy um, BB Powder. And I'm just going to use this to set that CC Cream Foundation. And I kind of just tap it on. And then I'll go back and kind of blend it out later i do put a little bit on my nose on top of that because i don't want my nose to look too too white i want my under eyes to pop a little bit more and then i'll just you know kind of blend 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 and i'll go back over that and let some of that powder blend that a little bit more to kind of give it more of that like airbrushed finish Just like so. Blend, blend, blend. 
All right, we're gonna do bronzer and we're gonna do brows. And then I'm gonna go and straighten my hair and change my clothes. Oh, my hair is so frizzy. All right, so for bronzer, we're gonna go in with We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go in with the bronzer and the three in one palette from Pharmacy. I am gonna use a different blush though. I do kind of want to do like a, you know, a fall type look. So like eye look, like just a simple one. And I'm just gonna bronze tour. So like I'm gonna like kind of contour, you know, with my bronzer. And I just put it like right there on my cheekbones and I'll put a little bit on my forehead. And then dab a little bit on my jawline. And then I will take some down my nose. Just like that. Kind of blend, 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 blend. And then I will go back in to that big puffy brush and kind of just blend it into that powder a little bit more so we don't have any type of harsh lines or anything like that. Just like so. And you guys, I do my makeup so quick. I'm not, you know, any type of makeup professional or anything like that. This is just, you know, my routine for, you know, like my base face. Obviously I prep with skincare and I use a lotion based primer cause I have dry skin. If you don't have dry skin, I suggest, and you have oily skin, I suggest using a silicone based primer. It all just depends on your skin type. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And for brows, I'm just going to Get my hair out of my face really quick. And for brows, I'm just going to take this little spoolie brush. This is um, Lavish. Uh, by Lavish, it's the Brow Groomer brush. And I'm just going to brush my brows over into the way that I like them. Just like so. And then I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Wow Brow in the shade Brown. And kinda just brush over my brows with that. Kinda brush them upwards a little bit. And obviously we'll go back and we will fix that. Um, and then I will do the other side. And kind of just, we're just adding a little bit of color to my brows and filling them in just a little bit. Oh my gosh, I itch. Okay. And then we will go back in with the spoolie and we will kind of just brush it through a little bit better and kind of put our brow hairs back into the place that we want them, kind of like that. It's just a light, simple brow. Just a very light and simple brow. So, I am going to, and then I will take the leftover powder from this and I will use this to set those brows, just like that. Just kind of set that wow brow gel in place. All right, now I'm gonna go change my clothes and um, straighten my hair and then we will come back and I, I think I want to do something like, I don't know, 
some like some type of fall makeup look. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what kind of outfit I pick out, and then we will go from there. But B O B. All right, you guys, we are back. I straightened my hair, but I went ahead and put it up just because we're gonna be out and about. I'm wearing my thick thighs and spooky vibes, black and white tie dye hoodie. I know I'm gonna get asked where I got this hoodie. Um, I actually made this hoodie, so I got um, the hoodie on Amazon. Um, it's a Gildan um, soft cotton, I believe. Um, and I sized up because it is gonna shrink. Um, so it's not that big on me now as it was when I first got it. Um, and then I took some black fabric spray paint and I spray painted it and then I used my Cricut to cut out this design and then I just ironed it on there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get on to our eyeshadow. Um, and I am going to, I, have to, I think I need to darken these brows up a little bit more. Um, so let me see here. I think I wanna do, I wanna do something. I know what I kinda of wanna do. Let me see. I've been trying to get through using some of these. Alright, I think this palette is going to be super pretty for fall right there. Okay, and this is the is by Morphe and it is the um, Painted Desert 9 Pan Palette. Um, and let me get some of my eye brushes here. So I'm going to go in with the shade... I'm gonna go in, I don't think there's shade names, but I'm gonna go in to this light color right here and I'm gonna kind of use this to create a base. I'm gonna do one eye with you guys and then I'm gonna do the other eye off camera just to save some time on the video because I did do a little bit more time than I wanted to when I was doing my base face. Kind of just like that. Kind of just popping that on as like a base. And then I'm going to go in with this brush right here. And I think I'm going to go in with... Hmm. I think I'm going to go in with like this orangey color. And I think I'm going to pop this in the crease. Kind of just tap it on there. Just like that. It definitely is pigmented. I love Morphe palettes. Any of you guys ever see a deal on Morphe palettes, message me or let me know. And then I'm going to go in with this deep brown color right there. And I'm going to use this on the outer corner to give it some depth. Kind of just patting it on there for now. It's going to look a little funky. And then I'll kind of just blend it a little bit where that harsh line is with that same brush and kind of just blend over that way so that dark color is staying on the outside and then I'll kind of just blend 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 just a little bit and then I'll go back into that blending brush and I'll kind of start right here and kind of just go like halfway and kind of blend that dark shade in kind of like that so it's like orangey brown for fall. I did lit up a little bit of the dark color right there. So we're just gonna apply that back. And then we're gonna go in with this like, um, it's like 
gold color kind of right there. I think that's a pretty shade for fall. Actually, we're going to go in with this shimmery shade right here. I think that color is more of an all, it's more of like an auburn color. So I think that will look really pretty. And kind of just tap that, place it on the lid. Just like that. I think it came out super, super, super pretty. And then I will go into like this kind of brush. And I'm going to dip into this like white shimmery right there. And I'm going to pop that in the inner corner. And on the brow bone. And just like that. And that is how the eye look is going to come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the eyeshadow on the other eye. Um, and the mascara I'm gonna use is gonna be the Pump It Up Maggie mascara. So I'm gonna do the other eye and put on some mascara. Um, and I'm not gonna do really anything to my lips um, just because my lips are super dry right now. So I might just put on like a chapstick or a lip oil or something. Um, but I'm gonna put the eyeshadow on this eye and then I'm gonna put Pump It Up Mag Maggie mascara and um on and then we will be back to do the blush highlight lips and setting spray so brb okay this is the, the finished eye look i think it came out so pretty and so just gives me all the fall vibes the browns don't really go with the black of my hoodie but i'm gonna have glasses on so not really gonna be able to tell but anyway so now we're going to go in with some blush here. Um, trying to decide what kind of blush and highlight I want to use. I want something that's going to give me fall vibes. Um, you know what I mean? Like something subtle, something that's going to give me no fall vibes, it's not like too pinky. Oh, that is bright pink. Okay. Um, let's go in with the Le Leechy and gold and gold healthy glow rose gold blush by Ser Seraphine Botanicals. It looks like this. So we're just gonna go ahead and use this blush. It's not as like all colored as I would like it to be. She's got a lot of fallout. I don't think I've ever used this blush before, but she does have some fallout. So I think I got it in an Ipsy bag. Thinking about re-signing up for Ipsy, we shall see. I don't know yet. I have been thinking about it for days. All right, it's just some blush. And then I am gonna use the highlight because I think the highlight will go perfect with that color we put on the inner corner from the three in one palette here. So I am gonna use this highlight just like that. And I kind of just tap it on my cheekbones and on my nose. And then we are going to spray everything with setting spray. And um, the setting spray I used is the Time Locker setting spray by Pharmacy. Looks like that. Um, and then I will go back in with that brush that we used to set the concealer and I'll kind of set the bridge of my nose. 
um, and like kind of go back and set on all the places where my glasses sit so I don't have any transfer. But that's the finished look. Again, I'm just gonna pop some clear lip gloss or something on um, into my purse all the way downstairs. Um, so I'll just pop on some clear lip gloss to kind of hydrate my lips a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy today's video and stay tuned for the pumpkin patch vlog. I will be taking pictures and videos of Evelyn having fun and of all the cool stuff there. Um, and so yeah, stay tuned for that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave this video a thumbs up. Hit the bell to be notified of my next video and leave me a comment down below if you like going to the pumpkin patch. And if you do, what's your favorite thing at the pumpkin patch? Is it the corn maze, picking the pumpkins? Or is it um, the hay rides? I wanna know what your favorite thing about going to a pumpkin patch is. So let me know in the comments, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios.